Hi everybody. Uh, so I, um, I wanted to do some, uh, I haven't really done much, uh, kit bashing. Um, kit bashing is when you take, um, like elements from a model kit. Like, let's say that you took a T800, you know, whatever tank model design, and then you took the parts and then bash them into something that is like, you know, Necromunda terrain or something like that, uh, like industrial terrain. Um, it's a thing like in, in, um, they it used to, people used to use it a lot more in, uh, like movies, like it, it famously in, um, like Star Wars, you know, the, the original Star Wars, one of the, the spaceships that was flying in to blow up the Death Star was actually a tennis shoe. There was a piece of a tennis shoe that was in, that made it into the final cut of uh, Star Wars when all the ships were flying in to blow up the Death Star. Um, but I, I made something, I, I wanted to add to my, um, to my Necromunda, like Zone Mortalis, um, Zone Mechanicus uh, stuff. To, to make some kind of generic like sci-fi uh, hallway pieces. Um, and uh, I used uh, aquarium filters. I, I used styrene. I laser cut some styrene. And I'll get into that more about that later. But um, there's a lot of debate on the internet about whether it's good and or safe to laser cut polystyrene. It's not, it's not PVC. PVC is totally different. PVC is polyvinyl chloride and that when you cut it with a laser, it will release chlorine gas, which can kill you. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, I, uh, I, I made a, I have a prototype design and then I can just keep making more of these and just keep building out more and more of my, uh, my modular system with, uh, with this stuff. And, I always wanted to do kit bashing. I wanted to do like a, a movie set with like kit bashing, but for playing, playing, you know, miniature games on. But anyways, this is the, this is the start. This is the, the first, the first pieces. We'll see how far I get with it, but I thought it was pretty fun and I always wanted to try it. So anyways, yeah, let's, uh, let's do some uh, kit bashing. So first up, what I did was, um, I took a piece of graph paper and then I just kind of traced the um, the design, and it's it doesn't need to be exact. It's just so that I have the dimensions. It's just an easy way to kind of like get the actual dimensions of the the piece, and then I'm gonna go in with a uh, caliper later and then get really really precise measurements. And I'm going to use millimeters because when I'm designing this stuff later, I'm going to be using uh, one millimeter styrene to cut everything. So I want to I want to measure in millimeters, and then the the CAD program that I'm going to use to design everything in everything is going to be in millimeters too. So I like using this program called, called uh, Tinkercad and um, what it is is it's a, a free online CAD program where uh, you can design all kinds of stuff on it. Um, like I, I designed this, um, this thing and some little artifacts over here on the side. Don't, don't pay attention to those. Um, but uh, I can, so I can design everything like in the program, right? And then I have these kind of color coded for um, what goes where. And then I can uh, go in and um, blow them apart and then lay everything flat on its side. And then I can uh, export it as a as an SVG file for laser cutting. So 
Yeah, I've done it before. Um, did it for these guys. I, I like it. I think it's a great program. All right, so I'm laser cutting polystyrene. There's there's some issues with that. Um, <laughs> so number one, um, do not ever put PVC polyvinyl chloride plastic into a laser cutter. When you cut it with the laser, it will release chlorine gas. Chlorine chlorine gas will kill you. Um, and <laughs> um, th yeah, this is so. Uh, styrene is a is a thermoplastic. It is not polyvinyl chloride. It's not the same thing. It's HDPE plastic. Um, it is safe to cut, but just be careful. It, it doesn't cut that well, like the edges roll. It's just a cool material to work with. You're much better off just doing it by hand. So polystyrene is a really cool material to work with. Um, it uh, it doesn't laser cut as good as like MDF or um, uh, acrylic things like that. But just do your research, guys. Like be be careful. Like uh, I don't want to put anybody in the hospital by watching one of my videos and trying something that I did that was dumb. Um, so I, I did have a little bit of issues with the cutting, but it turned out to be user error. Um, I, I had the laser set at the wrong kind of settings. So, um, but yeah, I mean, the, the thing with um, a polystyrene is that if you just score it, if you just kind of cut it and then like sort of uh, flex it, push it uh, back and forth, then um, it will, it'll just make a, a little edge where you can snap it. So, you know, just be patient and then and make a few passes and kind of flex it a little bit and eventually it will, um, it'll come loose. The thing that is super, super cool about polystyrene though is that you can use um, plastic glue on it to, to glue pieces together. Like the same stuff that you would use to glue up your, uh, your minis. <laughs> so it, uh, the, the, I think the main ingredient in plastic glue is uh, acetone. So acetone, it actually, it's a chemical reaction and then it melts the plastic. So you're actually like welding the, the two pieces together. Uh, and um, I'm, uh, I, I have this little gluing tray thing. I got it off Amazon, I think, but it just has, um, it has uh, magnets that you can use to like clamp things together while you're gluing them up. And then, uh, and then it, they make like little right angles. So it just comes in super handy for, uh, for stuff like this. And I ended up changing my design later so that I could key the pieces together a little better so that I wouldn't have to hold it at a right angle quite as much and I could just glue it at a right angle. So here's a little close up of what's happening. Um, so I get my right angle set up how I want it and then I'm gonna use the uh, plastic glue. Um, it, it has, it's so thin that the uh, capillary action is gonna pull it into that little joint. So you can kind of like brush it on to sort of pre-melt the little area so that it'll stick together. But um, if you just line up your, your little angle how you want it and then put it on there, the, um, the capillary action will actually pull the, uh, the glue into the little joint. 
So once I have my superstructure glued together, then I, uh, I just started grabbing random bits of uh, styrene that I found, uh, just kind of trying to make a cool design out of the, uh, the random like bits and bobs that I had. So I kind of had this idea that I wanted to have these like I-beam pieces running through the middle and then uh, have some pipes that would uh, run through the middle of these pieces. And, you know, I, I did. I, I liked that design and I kept it. But, uh, but yeah, just kind of chopping up styrene and making, uh, making different uh, designs out of this stuff. Uh, prototyping. So I wanted to make something that looked uh, sci-fi, you know, kind of generic uh, sci-fi corridor, but also I wanted to add some strength to kind of, because uh, the, the one millimeter styrene, it's pretty flexible. Um, and I, I didn't want any of my little welds to like snap off and then or have these things get crushed. So I was trying to add some, just add some strength, like uh, structure to these things. But, uh, but I, I didn't keep this design. This is just the, the prototype. But uh, there are tons and tons of uh, options that are available to scale modelers as far as styrene bits and bobs go. I found a lot of really cool stuff at the uh, the hobby town by me in uh, in uh, Westminster, Colorado. Shout out to uh, Westminster uh, Hobby Town. But um, yeah, I uh, you know I was bashing things together and using all these little bits. But the problem with using the styrene bits is that they're kind of expensive. I'm using a lot of like Plastruct stuff and uh, Plastruct is, it's just, it's not cheap. They don't make it cheap. One thing that I did have that was nice and cheap was uh, I found this um, aquarium, under gravel aquarium filter thing. And um, it's, uh, these are super, super cheap. I was gonna use it for something else. Like I like the uh, kind of industrial grating look of it. Um, I was gonna use it to make some like catwalk things out of but I found a way to like chop this stuff up and then uh, glue it together so that I, w I could use, basically make something that looked like how I wanted it to for a fraction of the cost. Like that's one of the things that I'm trying to do here is like keep the cost down if I wanna make a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so I was, just going crazy, bashing all this stuff together, making, um, you know, making stuff. I didn't really stop to, uh, to measure and then make sure that everything keyed together properly. <laughs> um, I, I made a mistake, uh, in the design. Well, no, not in the design. Um, I used, uh, I used, um, 1.5 millimeter styrene instead of um, one millimeter styrene. And uh, like, just a dumb mistake. So that, that put everything one millimeter higher or one point, yeah, like just that much higher than, uh, than everything else. So it doesn't sync up perfectly. But these, so this pops into here, you know, that, the keys in as good as the keys into here. Um, you know that's that's flush in there, so it's the same 
It's the same design. Um, I think that I could do a better job, actually. Like, I could make it key in there perfect. Um, so this, I don't know what I, why I did this, but this is the wrong size to, to, to match up with this as well. Um, so these, these, um, these door and, uh, wall sections, these pop into here like that. So I, I made this, I don't know why, I made this the wrong size to for that to accept into there. But I'm totally in love with these, um, these uh, like I-beam things with the circles in them. Uh, but this stuff is not cheap and, it, and it's not that easy to get a hold of. Like this was $7.50 for two little sections of this stuff at Hobby Town. Uh, and then this stuff was, uh, like, you know, $6 for these. So, uh, like these, the, these, um, aquarium filter things, they are dirt cheap. They, you get like a big box of these plus, you know, airlines, like all kinds of gubbins for like $8, um, at, uh, PetSmart. So, I mean, this, this is cool. Like these all, you know, this all fits together. Uh, that part is great. I really actually really like that. If you look in there, like if you can, cause it, you can see all the gubbins in there, you know, and I think it's cool. Um, so basically what I want to do, this, this is cool, is I want to take these, um, these airline tubes and then make some pipes that go through these things. And then I want to put magnets in the, uh, in the pipes and have like wires and stuff drooping in between. So I'm going to have to come back to this design and I'm thinking about using, incorporating more of this, these, um, aquarium under gravel filters because it is so much cheaper and more economical to make something with this stuff. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's, that's the situation with that. Like, I think if I even, if I put something up here, then it'll create like a, something that can, they can walk across so that that isn't just open on the top to you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna revisit my design a little bit. Long story short. But I love it, looks really cool. So this time I uh, refocus the laser and um, set it for the right settings. <laughs> and every, every little part just drop right out. Except for this one, it's the only one. Okay, so uh, I decided that this stuff is just, some of this stuff, the styrene, is just a little too expensive. Um, cause, and it's like hard to get a hold of, you know? So, um, cause like, let's see, these little bits, these little bits of this, um, what's this, blast truck. Uh, railing trellis stuff. D um, let's see. I don't know how many, I think I would get like six sections of this stuff out of this stuff for $6. So, um, I decided to do more stuff with the, with these, um, aquarium gravel filters instead, because they're really easy to get a hold of. Um, they're, they're, dirt cheap, like you get a big box of these things for like $8 at PetSmart. It's just an under gravel filter thing, aquarium filter thing. And uh, so I, I chopped it up and I came up with this design. Like this, this is, uh, this is styrene right here. And it's just a little piece of this uh, channel 
styrene, but this stuff is, is cheap and easy to get a hold of. Like I think you could probably even get some of this stuff at like Hobby Lobby or something, but I know for sure that this stuff is easy to get a hold of. Um, for me, it's like I have to drive down from the mountains and Hobby Lobby is way more convenient. If I want to go to a hobby store that has a good selection of styrene, like there's no, there's no guarantee that they're going to have this stuff. So, um, so yeah, and then these, um, again, kind of expensive, but you know, like I bashed them, like I, I made my prototype out of them. So I'm satisfied. Like I got my design out of these and then I decided to just make some, cut some of my own out of the uh, one millimeter styrene. But this is pretty sturdy. This guy is pretty, uh, pretty sturdy. So the only thing is, is that this, um, this stuff, this uh, aquarium gravel filter stuff is immune to um, uh, plastic glue. So it just, it doesn't melt. So I had to use um, super glue to, to get, I had to use super glue to get that uh, glued onto there. And then I used a, um, uh, like it's about the right size. It's like, it's really, really close. But then I just, I just used a, a nail file to kind of go over the side a little bit. And like this side is, it's not really important. I mean, I could like sand it to get it totally flush, but I actually want to like texture this stuff a little bit. Um, but you can see like on this side, there's just like a little teeny tiny lip right there. So that's, that's a success for me. I think I'm just gonna keep this design and then uh, I'll have all of my um, sci-fi like tube gubbins going through here. Uh, and then I'm just gonna like spray paint everything. So yep, I'm gonna keep going with that. And then even I even got like one of these little things out of there too. And there's, there's still more, like, this is just what I got out of one little piece of undergravel filter. So I think it's a cool design. Like, I like it. So, uh, Still playing around with this design. I, um, you know, cutting up the, cutting up the, the pieces of like under, under gravel aquarium filter in different ways and kind of bashing them together. I mean, this stuff is super, super cheap and it's readily available at PetSmart. Um, and then I have, I have like a drinking straw or pipes in here. Um, I have I have some pieces of this acrylic, this like neon acrylic stuff, and then I stuck that into some um, airline tubing, and then I was using, you know, thinking about using that too. I like I like I kind of like the droopy look of having it hanging, you know, in there. But what I think I might do is just have this stuff in here be pipes. And then having like, oops, having electronics and stuff kind of dangling in some of these places. But okay, check this out. So <laughs> if I stick this, all this guts back in here, um, And if I just lay it flat on its uh, on its side like that, does that not look like the coolest um, like walkway, like sci-fi kind of movie set uh, hallway? 
So I don't know, like, I think it's really cool. I'm having fun. But yeah, I'm gonna keep uh, bashing this stuff together. And then I took, I took everything outside and I hit it with some of this stuff, this um, Rust-Oleum hammered metal uh, finish. And it really has a cool finish. I mean, it really looks like it adds some, some texture. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually adds some kind of like hammered steel, rolled steel texture to things. And then, you know, if I put globs of super glue or glue on things, it really does look like welds. So yeah, just want to share that. All right, check, checking along, making progress. Really reminds me of, of Aliens, of the original Aliens movie, or Alien, Alien. Really reminds me of that. There's the sets. So I think this is the uh, final design. Um, I decided I just, I really like these, um, uh, these tubes The uh, this is, it's the acrylic inside the aquarium airline tubing. And I like how it just kind of glows like that. And I'm going to paint these guys up better, but, um, I, I like the design and I even like that it is, it fits in with the other, you know, it fits in with the 40K stuff, but um, it also just, it's kind of generic enough where it could be like any kind of sci-fi, you know, whereas like the 40K stuff, it's like definitely gothic, space gothic, you know? Um, so yeah, but it all, everything fits together and it looks cool and uh, I'm gonna paint up more stuff when I have more of it. All right, thanks for watching. Take care guys.